Alright, what's up guys? So I just won this grand challenge using a new deck with the new card, the scientist card. And I'm gonna show you some replays. This is against a top 94 finish player. And uh, I haven't been playing much this game, like a lot of stuff going on in life. So I think for three months I haven't really played nicely. So I'm going to show you how to play this uh, really strong motor deck and uh, uh, I'm going to explain you how to play in this meta, how to play the new card, the interactions and stuff. So here I divide them because like this is like a safe play. I still don't know like how you're, you can play this card so I'm just playing a safe. I'm going to snipe the firecracker with my miner. And flying mission in the middle is the key guys just remember that flying mission in the middle away from the enemy scientist um, shock I don't know the name of this new card but uh, yeah since you play log I'm gonna goblin gang and uh, cannon card on the right side and uh, I thought that was gonna get damaged but uh, he had earthquake too so I, I have that in my mind now he's he's playing hog EQ and I have his car cycle almost memorized. I'm gonna play a defensive motor here. And he played that firecracker right into it. So that was a really bad play on his part. And it's not gonna get a shot as well. So that is a really good defense. I don't know why like a top 94 player is playing like that. Because uh, I think I already showed him his, my motor. Or not. I'm not sure. But that was a bad play on his part. So... Yeah, so look at this guys, flying mission in the middle, the scientists cannot do anything. A lot of these people, I've been playing a few games and uh, in this meta, a lot of people are playing like low cost spells. They are playing like rays, arrows and stuff like that. Defensive motor to pull the hog rider, arrows to kill the evil firecracker, ability to protect my flying machine. Now look, why did I ability? To protect my flying machine and I, we got those evil skellies too so this is easy tower so yeah against the top player this is really easily i'm winning and i'd also like to say that this is a counterpass deck so you guys don't see me playing any card unless i have to you know so here uh, i played a defensive motor at the wrong position that was a mistake but we still get away with it so <laughs> i was kind of lucky there but yeah, this is a counterpass deck as I was saying. So you can play minor attack and then uh, watch what they play and then like uh, make a counterpass play, you know. I'm gonna show that in the next game. <laughs> Alright, another top 1000 finish player. Now I'm gonna show you how to play this counterpass deck. And uh, what do you need to do to connect your pusses? So I played Evo Bomber on the right. I'm playing Cannoneer, so... I was trying to play like a defensive card and he plays his scientist I'm gonna like uh, motor defensive motor to stray his path like the sock path it still hits my cannon card and here I did a really big mistake like I thought the motor splash was gonna kill the goblins from the drill but the motor splash didn't kill it so that's why I took so much damage now here I split it like this because the scientist is like a defensive card. So defensive card on the low HP tower and a tank on the left so we can make a double push play here. Uh, flying mission in the middle guys always remember that look it sniped that bomber and he couldn't even react because we played like flying mission in the middle and he doesn't have a counter. He has poison and poison is not gonna kill flying mission fast enough you know. And look at that flying machine like it's out of the shockwave as well so the flying machine is not even getting hit it killed everything literally i tried to play minor and goblin gang but uh i misclicked there so it's fine now that he played his log i'm after that bomber dies i can play my goblin gang right behind like this he doesn't have a direct counter but he has like evo skellies evo skellies actually saved him right here and I'm gonna play bomber because I'm playing cannoneer troop and now I'm gonna have to counter push I'm not gonna let this bomber go to waste because he might activate king tower you know so I'm gonna play like this I play like that now look at the flying mission in the middle as soon as I have elixir I'm gonna play flying mission in the middle away from everything it, it's not touching everything and it's gonna kill everything anyway 
the defensive scientist for that drill because we cannot take any more damage. We are down by uh, almost a thousand HP. So I try to kill the scientist fast enough so my uh, flying machine is alive. So my flying machine is still alive. I play miner and bomber as a counter counterpose. Another flying machine because he doesn't have a direct counter. Uh, Golden gang on the right to like take some of the pressure off on the left lane because I was attacking the left lane. So here I can just let it go and attack the um, attack his scientist and snipe his scientist with miner so. He doesn't have enough time to that to like uh, for his sock to kill everything. Flying machine at the bridge every single time. He doesn't have a direct counter, so why not, you know? And that's gonna kill. Motor is locked, so I'm not gonna protect my motor. I'm gonna play defensive like this because look, uh, he played his uh, uh, sock webs, right? So he's gonna kill everything. So I, that's why I play defensive. And now the um, guard is tanking for my miner. My miner is on his tower. I'm gonna shock to kill the cannon faster so my miner is still on his tower. And flying missing at the bridge again. He doesn't have a counter. And this is a good game. Okay, I'm gonna show you one more match. How not to play motor. That's what I'm gonna show you. And uh, since I'm playing cannon here, I gotta play something to kill his bats. His cannon... Uh, the skeleton king is not bad like that is not a bad play but then uh, here he cannot really do anything i'm gonna kill it anyway so since can cannoneer survived i mean the cannon card survived i'm gonna play motor as well and look flying machine in the middle he doesn't have anything even if he has something for that i mean motor is already locked to his tower i'm gonna defend this motor now so yeah Motor is locked. He's gonna get one more shot. And my Goblin Gang actually killed his entire Goblin Gang because his Cannoneer doesn't do much. So yeah, really easy start. So this is a counterpass deck as I said. So I have nothing else to play. That's why I played Attacking Miner. Now we can play our counter cards like uh, Cannon... Cannon... Ah, what is this name? Cannon card in the back, yeah cannon guard in the back i'm gonna cycle to my flying machine so look here guys he cannot kill my flying machine even though his motor is connected i'm gonna have a counter push and he cannot really do much here i'm gonna play a miner in the back to keep everything alive and this is a really bad play this is why you should not play like that look at that flying machine it connected to the tower now i'm gonna late arrows to kill everything perfect defense and perfect offense that's how you should play motor bait and not like him like he played golden gang in the middle but uh, uh i know that trick like it's a really average play if i play minor in the back everything's getting pulled to the back that's how my flying machine connected now look at this flying machine on top of a cannon card like he cannot kill it so why not play it you know i'm gonna play a cannon card in the middle to attack his skeleton king from afar I'm going to play my scientist for his motor and an evo bomber to kill all the spam. He played arrows so he doesn't really have much. And uh, I'm going to play miner and golden gang because he cannot kill my golden gang. I'm going to ability to keep my flying machine alive. Why did I ability here? Even though that charge is not going to reach tower to protect my flying machine. That's why. And now look, two flying machine like he cannot do anything. This deck is just overpowered and that's why I wanted to show you guys this new deck that you all can use. Of course it's not free to play, you cannot max your scientist. But like you can still win grand challenge, still watch my videos, so yeah.